This channel is now affiliated with Wampler Guitar Pedals run by Brian Wampler. It's an online course that will teach you the do's and don'ts about creating great guitar tone. In this course, you'll find out how pedals affect amps, how pedals affect amps differently, and how different guitars and pickups can also affect your guitar tone, while also learning how to use all of these great pedals into your digital modeler and door. You can click the affiliate link below, and you can get yourself 25% discount using the code Johnny25. Hey, welcome back. I hope you're well. Has everybody recovered from me fractal helix video the other day? <laughs> Definitely ruffled some feathers that one, didn't it? Uh, first things first, uh, I've not left the helix. I'm not planning on leaving the helix. I use the helix and I use the fractal pretty much every single day. Hence why this uh, preset has come up. Because I, I basically, I, I record music for karaoke tracks. That's kind of my job. So this is what this was built for. Can't tell you what the song is just yet because it's not complete. Uh, so, you, but obviously you get the preset completely for free. So it's all tickety boo. Don't you, you know, don't fucking shit your pants. Uh, but it was a bit of a weird one because, you know, you know, it's fanboys on both sides that were kind of calling me out and telling me how shit I was and how wrong I was about. But it's just, it's opinions. That's all it is. Are we DSP hungry in the Helix? We're getting that way. Does the Fractal have more DSP? Yes, it does. And those are just the facts. Doesn't mean to say that one is better than the other. You know? We all visit different porn sites, don't we? Let's be honest. All right. So, get myself back in the room. Two snapshots using the 2203 Marshall. Uh, and I'll go through it dead quick and then I'll explain why... I'm using the retro reel because, you know, the clickbait thumbnail, that's why you're here, because you've gone, oh, God damn it, this is more clickbait, Marge. Get my fucking shotgun. Because people don't like clickbait stuff, apparently. Oh, fuck, I just can't please everyone. Deluxe comp, prize drive, uh, 2203, kinky boost in between the amp and cab. It's only a single cab today. Uh, using the 4x12 greenback, a little bit of a high cut. I did initially put the EQ in there that I normally put in now and then, uh, but opted that I didn't need it because the retro reel's kind of taking care of business. Dual delay, one side is dotted eight, the other side is quarter note, and then a tile verb on the end. Didn't need like a proper reverb, reverb as such. So there's no plate, no glitz, no, you know, spring or nothing like that. So the first one, the first snapshot is called Mild. Kind of gives you a bit of a funk thing if you want it as well. Uh, and what I will say is it's better on the second position of your guitar if you've got a five-way switch or on the neck position. That's where you're going to get the most out of it. If you go on the bridge, it'll just sound like a big bag of donkey's balls. <laughs> Now if we go to the neck and kind of roll back a little bit more. Nice and mild, you know. Not retro real. what it's doing just kind of dumbs everything down a little bit uh, kind of more noticeable on the lead snapshot to be honest so when we go to the lead snapshot the prize drive engages uh, and then the drive goes up a little bit more on the marshall it's not extremely kind of gainy this this amp this 2203 it's not like Jesus Christ, it's not like that. I mean, there's enough in it, but I do think you have to put a some kind of drive pedal in there. Uh, so it was kind of a choice between the prize drive or the Minotaur, but I opted for the prize drive because, you know, I like, to, I like to keep it fresh, keep it spicy. <laughs> Um, 
So if I play a chordage, I'll turn this retro reel on and off. Keep on watching now. Here we go. So you can hear what it's doing. It's it's kind of just dumbing everything down a little bit. It's it's slightly smoother, but I mean you can play around with it. So if you're going to play around with it a little bit, play around with the wow and the flutter and the the tape speed. I mean, fifteen is okay. Seven and a half is probably like the golden wheelhouse. Like, woo, this is the, the golden spot. But I just kind of prefer it like that. Wow and flutter. Play around the tape the tape speed, and you'll be. You'll be good to go. It just kind of helps. It helps the texture a little bit, darling, because it's a cake, isn't it? It's a tonal cake, is what you're getting. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. This preset is completely for free. The link for that is down below. All I ask in return is that you subscribe and maybe leave a nice comment or other and tell me that I'm a Line Six or a Fractal shill. And I do all this for a gazillion pounds on the quiet from all of these companies that just think I'm fucking great and they just want to like you know give me loads of money and free gear because none of that shit happens at all. Take it easy. Mm -hmm.